And today is International Save the Girl Child Day, which is an official day. The United Nations has many specific days during the year dedicated to different, different things, ranging from yoga to the environment, to the earth. Today is Save the Girl Child Day. As we've been speaking, justice, justice is not served until everyone of every religion, of every culture, of every creed, of every color, of every gender, of every sexual orientation, of every distinction has equal rights to life, to freedom, to the possibility and the opportunity of making of their life what they envision it to be, to have equal opportunity to accept the invitation given to all of us by the universe to unfold, to develop, to transform, to blossom, and to serve the world with whatever skills and abilities we have come in with and we can cultivate and we can learn. And to discriminate against a gender, to discriminate against anyone for any reason, but today specifically against girls because it's International Girl Child Day is injustice. But it's not only injustice. It's also shooting ourselves in the foot if we have any hope for positive, progressive, developed, peaceful societies. Because that which women and girls bring to the society, in addition to just children, what they bring to society is crucial, it's incomparable, it's unique, and it's essential. And for our communities, for our societies, for our worlds, to be truly successful, to be truly developed, to have peace, to have all of that we're looking for, we absolutely must respect honor the girls and the women. And there must be an active offering of hands to them to also grab on to that invitation of the universe, to grow, to develop, to learn, to unfold, to transform, and to serve. And on this day, let us all pledge ourselves in whatever capacity we have to ensuring that we do whatever we can to make sure that these, these beautiful divine shaktis, these embodiments of the divine feminine have access to not just shelter and food and clothing, but have access to the education, the training, the opportunity, the possibility, the freedom to unfold into their fullest, highest divine potential that only they, in each of their individual vision, can conceive of, can imagine, can envision, and then can manifest. <laughs>